Temperance Lloyd was the first to be accused of witchcraft in Bidivir, but not in 1682. It had been starting in the 1670s. She had a history. She was constantly under suspicion. She ended up being tried and found not guilty. And it came back. These accusations came to head. In 1682, in July, we had the final process. A particular connection was Grace Barnes. Grace Barnes, who had been begged and like, she was complaining constantly of massive stomach pains. She blamed Temperance Lloyd, and eventually, on July the 1st, Temperance Lloyd was arrested and taken to the lockup at Biddeford Bridge, and at that point, Grace Barnes claimed that her pain stopped. That meant to her, to Grace Barnes, that of course it really was witchcraft which was causing her pain and her difficulties. July the 1st, lockup, and July the 2nd, we had the various events taking place, the examination. One of the things that Temperance Lloyd underwent was an intimate, personal, genital examination by a group of women, matrons of the town they were called. Basically, she was strip searched in her genitals to try and find the witch's mark. The belief was that she would have, according to the teaching, a teat of some kind where the devil sucked her in her private parts. They found they claimed, two little bits of skin, probably her labia minora, where that must have been where the devil sucked her. And in fact, later on, she did confess to meeting the devil or the black man. So this strangely seedy uh, experience and what they underwent, you know, these were very private people. These were elderly. We've gone through the Puritan period. I don't believe they were sexually liberated in any way. What Temperance Lloyd suffered, it no doubt contributed to the ease with which she confessed to her alleged crimes. It was the next day she was questioned at the parish church and managed to pass the test and then it was only a week later that Temperance Lloyd was actually committed to the jail at Exeter to face trial and at the same time the witch hunt began to spread. Susanna Edwards was accused on hearsay. Witchcraft was a strange crime. It broke all the rules of evidence and things like that. A child could testify. Hearsay, William Edwards claimed he had heard Susanna Edwards, no relation, confess to being a witch. That was sufficient, she was taken away. Mary Trembles was arrested purely on the grounds that she was a friend and lived with Susanna Edwards and she too was accused of witchcraft. The whole thing at this stage is escalating and this is the problem but it was easy to do in a particular circumstances of the time.